Hi, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and we are on the way to the e-Cannonball. That's a big event here in Germany, driving across Germany with an electric car. And the proof is, can you charge the best way, can you uh, drive the best way to arrive when it, with a certain state of charge through Germany and arrive with another state of charge and be exact in that and you will be with us with the whole trip and here is my partner partner in crime <laughs> Steffen, hey. Steffen. Hi. Und, und ich bin die deutsche Live-Übersetzung, also, aber das war dem Rolf jetzt immer zu viel, das alles dann noch zu synchronisieren und deswegen... Machst äh, du die Live-Übersetzung äh, davon? Hallo, wir sind auf dem Weg zum Tesla E-Cannonball für die Deutschen. <lacht> ja. Wir sprechen alle Englisch. Okay. And we will see you when the big gathering starts soon. So, hier ist hier ist a view to Würzburg. Ah, schon vorbei. Es war der Blick Now having the first stop at the Leonberg Supercharger, actually 16 stalls. Many of them are reserved for Model 3s, but I think all of them are already reconstructed to have CCS, also basically Model 3 charging capabilities and the charger was at that time not very busy. As you can see, what we also do there is at that supercharger because this is going to be our first station, we kind of scope it out where it is, how it's accessible and what are the amenities around that supercharger. That's, and now we are plugging in. Uh, the construction of that is a little different. Uh, the CCS charger is similar to the J7072 with the high voltage extension, but just only it's the European version. So you basically cannot take your car to Europe when it's built in the US because the adapters are differently. Uh, in Europe. Now we will have a look at our uh, car or at Stefan's car where we're driving with. It's a Performance Model 3 and he has our sign Tesla Owners US. That's our team identification and we ha uh, Stefan has it foiled with a titanium uh, gray. It was, uh, one, on one hand it's protecting the car and on the other one and it's probably still for uh, radar. No, it's not. Just kidding. Richtung Insel Mainau. So we are on the way back, or on the way towards the Mainau Island in the Bodensee. Guys, we are starting from the Bodensee, which is a one of the biggest lakes in Germany. It is the biggest lake. Is the biggest lake. Okay. Okay guys, we are seven kilometers less than five miles away from the Swiss border. Yes. So all the way in the southwest of Germany. We arrived at the Insel Mainau in about you know, uh, five minutes, two minutes, one, one minute. minute, and then we are there. Here it is, so into Mainau. Here is the entrance to the parking lot. Actually, it's a bus parking lot, and that's the place where we all meet all 60 vehicles, all different kinds, driving through Germany. Uh, that's the entrance of the parking lot where we all left the next morning. Actually, the day before, it was a car check. So to find out if everybody was there and everybody came. And here is the parking lot itself. And that's my partner, Stefan. So he was providing the car from Germany and he is one of my referrals. And I could do some good for him. 
that's what I did and said, hey, let's have a ride through Germany. We, there were all different kinds of cars, as you can see. Some of were advertised, uh, depending from uh, the situation. There were uh, many of German YouTubers about electromobility there. Uh, greetings to, uh, to the people and keeping the thumbs up for them that they will make it and arrive on time through the 500 miles of Germany. And, and as you can see here, there is a diversity of all cars. They're actually the uh, managers of that event try to use all electric cars as possible. Now let's hop to the islands and he says the plants are saying thank you. This is actually a special sign in three languages where for the better environment and where to put the waste. Because Germans are very great in separating waste in all different kinds of stuff. And at the end the trash removal takes it and puts it all together again. So <laughs> at least it happens in most of the times. So this island has a lot of plants and flowers, you know, as you can see, and it is very pretty. Here is the view to the Bodensee, and when you look all across there, you would see Switzerland in the far back. Uh, this is actually a Bodensee is a sweetwater sea, a sweetwater uh, lake, and the river of Rhine goes through that lake. Additionally, <coughs> you can have uh, a lot of activities on that island. It's actually not that small. P many people are hiking through that island. There's a little uh, tiny zoo here as well. And some houses are being built there. You would need a special permit in order to drive on that island. And that's Island Minau, as you can see. Uh, not so big, but uh, quite as big. And there are flowers and plants blooming there almost any time of the year except the winter. And the uh, Maintenance of those flowers, as you can see here, should show uh, chicken or that actually is a turkey. I think that should demonstrate a turkey with the big feathers in the back. And yeah, you can relax on that island and this is actually the island where we started from. Actually, not direct for the, actually from this island, actually in the parking lot in front of that island will be shown now. Here we are walking over the bridge back. That's the little tiny bridge uh, to uh, the parking lot on the mainland. And the funny thing was also that uh, Stefan, they didn't get his name right. He got an American name because he got Alan Smithy as his American name. Actually, the name was correct on the label or on the sticker, but not on his badge. We actually lined up and started by battery size. So the smallest or weakest battery size or the weakest car from range had to start first. And then all of the bigger cars, depending from battery size, were later. Uh, because this, uh, the last time we had, depending on the start time and the battery size, an uneven time, when people are arriving, so we would want it to that people are arriving uh, approximately at the same time. So as you see here, that's the lower battery size packages. And then we had also standard range pluses, which were in the middle range. Uh, that what I'm going to show now. Everyone had actually a number. We were 60 participants in total, starting from converted electric cars to uh, regular manufactured cars uh, from all manufacturers available. Uh, sometimes uh, the uh, Hyundai's or Kia uh, Neo uh, Ionic 
where they're in the middle as well because they're about the mid-size battery and after the mid-size battery we also did that in three categories category three were low three middle one large now we're coming to category one which is a higher performing higher battery size cars they are i think starting at 75 kilowatt and you can see all categories all manufacturers because the <coughs> managers of the event wanted to have a high variety and here is our car again we are number 43 starting number 43 and there is next move as well 44 and uh, here is in uh, mercedes eqc and another audi e-tron because they are ranging up to 90 kilowatt or more now we are already at the first morning. The first group had to start at 6 a.m. This were the lower battery packages there. Then the mid-range and we were the uh, long-range battery package there or performance cars. Uh, this was, uh, I think, a car 2 in front of that, number 41. Yes, they were already lining up. Just had a talk a little bit with the marshals, all in the yellow west there and they were registering your point of charge because also there was an additional handicap built in in our range depending from battery size you had to start with 70 percent battery and could not start with all 100 percent battery and depending from that you had also to end with 40 percent so here is the next group i think uh, the folks for Robin from Robin TV. Robin had to start with 50% because the e-tron has over 90 kilowatt battery pack and accessible battery pack so he had to just charge up to 50%. And everybody was lining up uh, in order to wait when the start shot got to a specific time. We were running and starting the race sure officially you cannot talk in germany that this is a race where it actually is one but this was a, a consumption comparison drive that was a, that's how the legal name for that was this is our car again and stefan is lining it up uh, next to all other cars so that one after the next one in two minutes increments we could uh, start from that location and now all stickers are also attached for all of the sponsors so here's Rolf from Tesla Owners US and we are leaving we are just shortly before we have 10 70 percent as we supposed to start with 70 percent Stefan is ready to go. Hier, hier ist die well. kleine blonde Übersetzerin. Wir sind direkt hier live vom Bodensee. Genau. <laughs> und, and we have also uh, a way to go and we know any uh, every location. We have a special route, but we need to watch the other ones as well. Yeah. Okay, weiter, 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 weiter. Okay, super. 741. Hast du den Zettel mit dem ja. Ja. Antragen oder habt ihr den nicht? Hier. Der hier. Ja, genau, den stempel ich euch jetzt ab. So, und registered. An jedem Haltepunkt tragen wir es dann ein, ne? Bis zum genau, nächsten, ich trage jetzt hier die ja. Startzeit ein. So, start, Startzeit ist being registered. Okay, das ist deine. Ja. Ähm, habt ihr GPS-Tracking an? Das, das haben, wir, haben wir an, ja. Okay. Haben wir an. Ja, haben wir alles Telefon kommt an. Dann Uwe gleich noch Fragen stellen. Ja. Mit der Startnummer 43. Start Nummer 43. Der Mann mit der weitesten Anreise, den kennt ihr von meinem ja. Kanal. Rolf. Ja! Oh, <lacht> ja, klar. Ja, ja, klar. Auf geht's, Sechs. ne? Ich bin Fünf. gespannt. Wann sehen wir uns? Vier. Wir sehen uns. Gleich sind wir weg. Viertel nach vier in Berlin. <lacht> no. Really, we could drive very normal. And I even asked uh, Stefan if he has placed the car to chill mode 
because then you are not tending to consume so much electricity. And actually we did and uh, then we went through the settings and everything was good to go. And we enjoyed the drive. Uh, we're gonna update you on the way to the next charger. So usually we make a stop at the next charger. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>